Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to get back to the nuclear nightmare in Japan. This thing is not going away. Do not think it's not, it's not going away. And, you know, all you people that think the media cycle and you're so used to that. Oh, it's like the BP oil spill. Huge difference. Huge difference. Granted, the spill in the ocean in BP is absolutely catastrophic and devastating. It's going to go on for hundreds of years. Well, at least decades and decades. But the Earth, Mother Earth, has ways. You know, over, you know, granted, it might take a hundred years to clean it up. But Mother Earth doesn't know how to handle nuclear energy and it never goes away. And as far as the food chain, I'm going to get to the food chain. The California, the salad bowl, that's where our all our produce comes from. I mean, our milk, our dairy, huge amount of our meat. Here's what I'm going to tell people. And I, my website, Blanche Schwartz, I'm going to be putting up a page today. I have an, a bunch of articles about my father, Atomic Veterans, a bunch of information. But I'm going to put a link up on the top, Blanche Schwartz, and start pasting all kinds of information. Everything I could find. I already have tons and tons of stuff. I'll be scanning stuff in there. I got an interview with a politician this afternoon. But anyway, as far as the food chain goes, listen to California. Look, one thing you could say, Jerry Brown won, thank God, thank God. If people would have listened to him 30 years ago, this country would be so much better off. Thank God he won. Look, he's not going to let them get away with this. And the food regulatory industry in California is the best in the world. The rest of the country, no. You can say whatever you want about California. You know, you say whatever, but, you know, it's full of a bunch of old hippies. It's full of a bunch of old deadheads. It's full of freaking a bunch of old moonbeams. They're not going to let them get away with this. They're going to stay on it. So I will be posting as much information as I can. I've been in contact with their offices already down there. The salad bowl down there, the milk industry, they are going to be on this. So I'm going to monitor what they say. You know, Jerry Brown's in office. I trust him. He's an old moonbeamer, you know. He's an old hippie. Come on. You know, they're not going to let it. And if you are Californians out there and you're a bunch of old freaking deadheads, you're a bunch of old hippies, you know, you're out there. You know who you are. Get involved. Get involved. You know, get out get your freaking, start talking to people. You know, show up to your freaking local meetings on this. This is a major, major, major deal. Now, as far as the radiation itself escaping, there's plumes going out of there again today. This thing needs to be entombed. But think about this. Now think about this. Not just into the food chain, but into the product cycle. How close is Japan to South Korea? How close is Japan to China? You know, as we import, you know, I put up my video, fuck China and the fucking junky ass shit. They bring their shit in on their boat. You know, fuck them. Think about this. In that cycle of nuclear fallout, which there's no journalist can get in there, it's like Chernobyl. Remember how Chernobyl played out? Chernobyl played out over a long, long, long time. It was finally freelance, freaking journalists, freaking risked their freaking lives, ended up dying from it that went in there. It took a long time for this, site, this story to be really told. This story is the same thing here. Japan, Japan's not going to tell us. There's guys on YouTube with Geiger counters all over in Tokyo. Japan's surely not going to tell us. They're going to lie their ass up. That's their system their emperor system still exists. Journalists can't get in there. What journalist in their right mind is going to go freaking near it? They can't. It'll kill them. You know, they'll have cancer. So, we have to use deductive and common reasoning in this thing. Look, there's six reactors. We know the spent fuel rods from the one reactor have been totally wide open and exposed in their freaking resting spot. That's enough right there. That's Chernobyl right there. Okay, we know that the reactor next to it's in the same fashion. We know they've been puffing freaking hydrogen and these guys, oh, it's just hydrogen. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you think? They're releasing the hydrogen pressure so these things don't fucking blow up anymore. What do you think is mixed into the fucking pressure they're fucking releasing? I mean, come on. Are fucking people really this stupid? And, you know, they, go, if you believe that kind of shit, Go to Fairytale Kool-Aidville and go to Glenn Beck's site. Go to fucking Ann Calder's fucking site. I mean, that dude. Fuck, wow. But anyway, I will stay on this. I'll put tons of information up there. I'm going to really monitor the California food industry regulation. I think they're going to be the guys that are going to lead. Californians are the ones who led when we had the nightmare in southern Utah. Hey, you got to remember, in Utah 1950s, 
when the open air test and hell the state of Utah had way less than a million people lived in the entire state Nevada a couple hundred thousand in the entire state it was Californians who freaking dove into this and got serious about it yeah the, the wind was blowing the other way but they were right there it was the old hippies it, well they're old hippies now it was the old deadheads they're old deadheads now the ones that were in vogue in the time they had a voice where have you guys all gone where have you guys gone? I used to say it for years. When I was a boy, I grew up in this real progressive freaking city. I mean, I have an old magazine that shows the three most cosmopolitan cities in America. It shows New York City 1, San Francisco 2, Ogden, Utah 3. We had freaking huge protests in this town when I was a kid in the 1960s. I shook Bobby Kennedy's hand right here. Look, where have you guys gone? I used to say, God, this has got to be the greatest generation. But then a guy had a talk with me one day. And he says, you believe that? You're full of shit. He says, look, these are the same people that were all for Vietnam until they started getting drafted. He says, they're a bunch of baby boomer fucking pussies. And this whole movement was born out of them not wanting to go. It would have never been born if there was a draft. And I agree with Charles Rankel. He's right about that. He's, t he's totally fucking right. If we had a fucking draft, fuck of wars wouldn't fucking happen. And this guy says, you're full of shit. Because I always thought, God, what a dynamic, progressive people. You know, they're anti-war, they're anti-pollution, they're anti that way. He says, they fuck. They weren't fucking none of that. Well, prove them wrong. Where the fuck are you guys? Where the fuck are you guys? I'm going to be watching. You got Jerry Brown. You got the right guy in fucking office. You got the fucking food chain has been polluted in California. Get off your fucking ice cream eating fucking asses and fucking be activists again. Kevin Blanche.